Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is August 7th, 2017, and this is our episode number 156. Today, uh, we're wrapping up our video series on Companhia de Participações Aliança da Bahia. <clears throat> it's been quite an adventure. Uh, we went from a company we I didn't know existed to knowing uh, quite, a, quite a bit uh, about the company, uh, learning that it's a spin-off of uh, an insurance company of pretty much the same name, Anessa da Bahia, and that it shares uh, its major owners with the, that other company. And today, it's time for a verdict. And if you've watched previous episodes or previous uh, series on companies uh, here with a uh, Naive Investor, you will know that, first of all, the verdict is about uh, first knowing if we uh, are able to make a, a helpful uh, judgment with the information we have. So just to recapitulate, uh, we've seen very interesting things and we need to know a couple things more. So we see a company with no debt and that's, that's excellent. We see a company with uh, 0 0.26 in the ratio of liabilities to equity. Uh, this is very uh, good, perhaps not so much for a, a holding company, but still pretty good. Uh, everything they own, they owe or will have to pay is covered four times by its equity. So, you know, not bad at all. Uh, a very good current ratio, uh, so they have 4.29 times the money that they know they'll have to spend within the next 12 months. So pretty sure uh, this company is not going anywhere this year and probably not anytime soon either. And then earnings. I'm, I'm going to refer to the inflation adjusted earnings here and we can see uh, a few interesting things. If we take the average, the PE10 after adjusting for, for inflation is 5. So this number uh, tends to be really uh, good in terms of uh, wanting to own a company. All other things equal. Uh, when we look at the, the, the series here, we see two negative years. So years of losses here. In one complete blowout here, 653 million. That's it's, that's almost 10 times the second best year. So, and we have not found out what happened here. Uh, that in 2008, they were able to post this kind of earnings. Uh, I did not look into that issue. Uh, it would be very interesting to understand that. So if we consider, instead of the last 10 years, if we take the last five, let's see the PE, what happens to this PE? 67 plus, sorry, let me use the calculator here. So 67 plus 27 plus 28. I'm going to do one thing here, which is simplify these numbers. Great, so 67, sorry. 67 plus 28 plus 17 minus 14 plus 4. Whoa, where am I? divided by 5. So it's 19.6. You can see it's a far cry from the 85 here. So, of course, uh, this will be over 20. The PE10 it will be over 20. So the market cap right now is 429 divided by 19.6. So almost 22. So it's a completely different scene, isn't it? And probably if we go P8, it won't be better. It, it will be, it may be even worse. 
so it's a different scene. So we want to look at uh, P10s, but also P5s and also P3s, especially when you have something so out of the curve like this. So this different P5 of, of 22 is much, much worse than uh, what we have here. So we don't know. When will we ever have a, a year such as this? Or how many more years such as these here? A negative, uh, you know, a year posting just 4 million. We don't know. And by the companies they hold, it's not easy to predict. The companies are not well known. The companies are somewhat opaque, at least until now, okay? Maybe we can continue learning about this, the company and the subsidiaries and find out uh, good or bad things. All right, so finally, we know the price, but finally we do something which is look at the price history, okay? So, CIA, Participações, Aliança da Bahia, Market Cap. So, this will be the last five years. This will be, would be the last, what, even 13 years, 14 years of prices for this. And as you can see here, we have had years at 40 with an inflation of, let's see, let's consider this 2009. Let's consider this 45, 2009. So we have the inflation adjusted table here. So this would be the adjustment ratio. So 45 times 1.65. So 74.25. This, in a very rough basis, would be the maximum price ever for this company. But if you see here, for the, for the longest time, it's, it's been trading around, really around 30, as it is right now, okay? So it's commensurate uh, with the last five years here. So if you consider that it's trading at, at 20 times earnings, so uh, this gives us a, a return of 5%. Uh, and that's what we've been getting from the yield here. So and not only that, but if you see here, this is not the end of the world. But if you see like the last one year, you can see this kind of graph. It's full of straight lines, meaning long, kind of longish periods without trades. Okay, so this company ha has not been traded for a long time, apparently. Uh, this, per se, I don't think it's bad. You do know, if, we, if you've been following along our episodes, that we're, we, we invest for the long run. We invest for, at the very least, three years, uh, but really at least ten years. Of course, if things go really well in, you know, two days, awesome. Or if we learn that we were wrong in two weeks, we do something about that. But other things equal, we want the, the, the process to pan out over, over multi-year periods. And, uh, but here... Given all the other uncertainties, the fact that this company is very, 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 very thinly traded uh, is not auspicious, okay? So I would say there are uh, dissonant things here. So we don't know. Is this company this company here every, once every 10 years or never again? So I would say we don't have enough information to pass judgment on Companhia de Participações Aliança da Bahia, at least at the moment. So when you're un unable to make a, a, a comfortable decision or to, to have a stance on the company, this means you wait. We we're going to wait here and not do something about it. Uh, so, yeah. That, this is pretty much it for a company to pass. I don't have much else to, to add other than, you know, 
over time it's always helpful to continue reading about it following the company seeing where it goes what it does um, and uh, perhaps in the future uh, it will change enough that it can we can become partners of it but right now uh, no so thank you very much for watching if you haven't watched our past episodes we have 155 more and I hope to see you in future episodes as well. Uh, if you have comments, suggestions, criticisms, if you've spotted mistakes, if you want to get in touch, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply as quick as, as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.